Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to be looking into the Man in Motion Motion Manager data structures. So right away we can see that Man in Motion has three structs, which are the hand information in Unity, the session and visualization components. These three structs all have the information you need to create amazing hand gesture recognition apps. If you want to learn how to develop advanced AR core apps, then check out the links below to either access these advanced tutorials on Patreon or get full access to the AR Core Masterclass on Teachable and Udemy. Please also subscribe to this channel and click that bell icon to get notified of more free augmented reality tutorials. And lastly, check out all these other cool Udemy AR courses. Discount coupons are all in the links below. Hand Info in Unity has all the information from the detected hand which is stored as an array. This allows for easy access for hand gesture information, especially when two hands are detected. Just note that you need an upgraded license to enable dual hand gesture recognition. So the hand info struct contains the tracking and gesture information, warnings as well as classification of left and right hands. Hand textures provides the visual information of the hand within the frame. Tracking information or tracking info comes with a handful of features or rather the data that we can access for our apps such as the bounding box of the hand as well as the positional information of the palm center, fingertips, as well as the inner and contour points. We can do quite a bit with this, especially rotation of the hand, as well as how far or close the hand is from the camera using relative depth. Gesture info provides all of the data from gesture analysis. We'll delve into the practical applications of gesture analysis in later lectures, but for the moment, this truck provides us with the menu class that detects for the hand, as well as the state that measures how open or closed the hand is. We can also access continuous or trigger gestures in the case where you activate a pinch or grab gesture which can be analogous to triggering a mouse click or a touch. Lastly, we have hand side detection which returns whether the front or back of the hand is facing the camera. Session has the necessary settings information that developers should make use of in order to prepare a smooth experience within the application. Let's take a look at some of them. Flags are used to display information or handle situations such as an expired license, insufficient credits amongst others. Background mode allows you to choose the corresponding mode based on your camera's dominant scene color. This allows the hand to be easily segmented from the background. Segmentation refers to the meaningful separation of the hand and its features from the background within the camera's field of view. And segmentation is also triggered by the calibration process of the SDK. Soon, Man in Motion will be releasing an all background mode which will automate this whole process. Other than that, we have the session information such as image format, device orientation, hand selection, and the option to enable two-handed features with an add-on license. Visualization info. The final struct of Man in Motion is the visualization info. The texture is provided over the input frame that is going to be processed. For example, if you're going to create an augmented reality app, which we'll do in the next section, you'll be able to retrieve the camera feed from the visualization info. So yeah, that is about it. If you want to understand more on this, we can check out the Man in Motion SDK documentation to get a better understanding. We'll also be covering the important aspects of the SDK in our upcoming apps. Okay, so that is it from me. In the next lecture, we'll delve into the practical tutorials using Man in Motion. Also check out the links down below to get access to a free augmented reality course on how to build an AR business card. Please don't forget to comment to let us know what your thoughts are on gesture recognition as well as potential ideas. Also please like, share, subscribe and thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next lecture.